Like, okay, we got her, so that's good. She's got quite powerful single target. Oh, but nowhere close to Merlin's. Oh, wow. I was expecting more damage. Yeah, okay, so let's restart it. There we go. That's the best start. Because one hit, then we should get another hero. Okay, healer will be better, so hopefully we'll get healer next. There we go. He didn't speed anyone yet. That's fine. Okay, Marilyn. It's okay, we'll get the healer faster. There we go. Let's um let's do that. Okay, looking way better as long as Bediver can survive. The thing is, next stage doesn't require that much healing. So as long as we survive this one, we're good. But what I don't like is eventually the boss will charge a skill and we need to quickly kill it. So, you know, the boss is not easy, really. They made this boss really hard. And that's quite cool. No many games makes bosses so hard. Okay. Okay, if Bedivir has to survive this, nothing happened. She summoned those minions. It's fine. Boss is going into the last phase. Okay, that's good. No, it's not. I need to use Merlin's third free vigor skill because it gives me extra healing, gives me recovery over time. So we got attack resistance now. And now you see this. Basically, what it means is he's charging for two turns. It says that we can be stopped by abnormal status. So this is where Reese from Merlin should work but it doesn't okay um temptation is also a debuff let's see if it's on the list here it is so let's try that yeah didn't work now Marilyn's got this here sleep didn't work and now we go here so that's one turn, okay? So I know I have really slim chance of making it. I uh, should have used the different one. I'm not going to make it, or will I? The question is, we got a passive here on Beldiver now. So Bediver now. So that means we will do two hits. So we can crit twice. Bang. And that's what's making it for me. Yeah, so while it says you can freeze and have a chance of stopping it, it doesn't really work that often. And I mean, I have quite high uh, accuracy on those heroes. So I'm not making that up. Okay, and now, the way I play it is, I could kill those wings, well, these eyes and whatever, um, without issue with Bediver, but getting the boss to half HP will spawn other things so that's why it's more important to get him and look how much damage he's taking okay so all i need is few turns to make it work as long as the boss doesn't do crazy oops that was the wrong hero as long as the boss doesn't cry, uh, control my healer i should be okay because remember the boss has this annoying cc so yeah we're gonna use that i prefer to have this skill, right? Because it works on the boss slightly, but it does. And last time I was so close, the boss was charging his skill. 
and I failed. Okay, but th that's another story here. So the boss will charge his own skill as well. And what I'm going to do here is 3, 2. That's what I'm going to do. See, I got this passive. Whenever I get this passive available, I go for it. Especially when I have multi-targets because it grants me defense. It grants me a recovery over time as well. So that's extra healing to help Julianne as she is doing the single target heals. And I need four. So I'm going to do this. And the next turn, I can apply this. Okay, so Bediver does damage. Now, if you don't have Bediver, there are other options. There's Ban. There's Kai as well. Okay, those heroes will do amazing damage, especially if you have them at higher chivalry. So we got Freeze. Um, That's not good. But we are almost at that phase now. The last phase... Oh, she got feared. I didn't see that. I just wasted. Wasted vigor there. That's fine. Poison frog. I don't have anyone to dispel debuffs. Okay, we got this phase now. Boss didn't cast even once. That's good. Yeah, so now the jewels and other things are available. The, oh, so I forgot she's got fear. I'm wasting so much vigor. I won't have enough for that. Okay, but anyway, we need to do single attacks here. So three times, four times. This is better. And I know that and that's the issue. It, it doesn't recognize those hits. It's so annoying. Oh, okay. We are screwed. Or maybe not. There we go. It did recognize them. Okay, good. So let's keep. Oh, he's got fear, so we know. Right, this is another thing. We need to apply some kind of CC. There we go. See, it worked this time. It didn't work previously. Maybe I didn't apply it. But yeah, okay, we got this. We can have extra healing. Now I can go and try kill the boss, or I can st slowly try try killing them. But the thing is, the longer the fight goes, there's more chance that I will miss some crucial skills. And when the boss crowd controls me right now, right? So we need to use multi hits, and I got two hits here, and I got three hits here. So that's better, right? Okay, Merlin's got four hits here. But it doesn't recognize one of them. Uh, he's got only one hit. Well, we still want to do that. Yeah, we want the damage. And we got passive, so that was two hits, actually. Morgan's got fear. And now we need to apply some CC. So previously it worked with this. Let's see if we can get freeze again. We couldn't. Uh, again, go for that. We failed. And if he casts that, we are done. Yeah, boom. Oh, okay. What happened? He cast that and we didn't die. Oh, well, that was a freeze, I think. That's what he was casting. Okay. Cool, we're very close to winning. As I said, this phase doesn't require much healing. But the boss will eventually... The boss can one-shot us, really, once he starts casting this skill. So now we have one turn to kill the boss. Um, yeah, I need to do double here because I need double here and double there, right? That's what I want to do. Bang, bang, bang. And double. I need two crits here. Bang. We did it. <laughs> so uh, yesterday when I was doing that, I could... Basically, the boss had like a slim of HP, maybe 1%, and he managed to cast it. I was basically... But the viewer didn't do... Didn't, his passive didn't recover. And I couldn't do it, but today I did it. So yeah, uh, quickly, Bediver, let's go over the team. For those of you who are struggling here, because this is not an easy fight, okay? I unlocked Hell, that's cool, but the reason why I went for this is basically um, I got a Relic for Jillian now, so I'll pick the t Water Relic for her. So yeah, Bedivere, as I said, he's not completely built. He's built with attack and crit rate. 
but you don't need attack and you don't need crit rate as long as you can get a crit rate of piece you only need 20 percent on bedivir and you should build him with crit damage set instead uh, focus on hit accuracy on the orb the higher you get uh, the harder it is to hit okay so this is important and orb has that stat so go for it um other than that make sure you max out his passive there's a trick to reset him to level one upgrade passive twice and get that passive um obviously morgan everyone has morgan uh she's not uh, leveled up in any way as you can see no passives no chivalry she's running attack speed and critical hit set this is not ideal you could go for accuracy uh, basically accuracy speed or something like that you want this accuracy to make sure she applies as you can see i have very low effect accuracy here to, so she can apply this uh debuffs like reducing the gouge or also uh, applying this control to stop the boss's attacks and then we have Merlin accuracy and speed set this is my Gorgos set basically I removed my uh, first set that I had that was you know optimal here uh, I had like attack and accuracy here but this is more supportive um, again focus on uh, effect accuracy try to get at least 40% so you can have access to this Rost basically to co cover that CC and uh, Jillian um, while she's amazing I'm not gonna lie you can bring a healer that can remove debuffs but someone who can do multi-hits as well because if you bring Bedivere you won't be able to do multi-hits here now if you bring Kai Kai maxed out Kai at this stage well not even maxed out but eight chivalry Kai uh, can do a lot of damage okay so she has two uh, vigor pool single target hit so yeah make sure you do that um and now another trick is as you could see just repeat the fight until your damage dealer is first on the battlefield i don't know why yesterday i managed to get two heroes on the battlefield at the start of the battle which made it super easy but today i i wasn't that lucky so i had to do it a few times and yeah we managed to do it so quite happy and now we can choose the relic um but I'll, I'll go over that just in a second so oh yeah look at this amazing pack right that's a random legendary hero <laughs> well you can get two right one of your choice and one random bar costs quite a lot i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as always thank you for watching stay safe bye